Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 59th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can connect to a database in MySQL using PHP. So, you know, we're going to check out a lot of new stuff in this tutorial. So this might be a little long and, uh, you know, I hope I just don't bore you guys. So, uh, you know, let's just get right into it. We're going to use uh, a couple of functions uh, in this tutorial, you know, a couple of PHP functions. So, you know, the first one that we're going to use is MySQLi underscore connect and uh, you know mysqli is an improved version of mysql you know which was the earlier handle that people used to use to connect to databases in sql and also to execute queries uh, you know using php but uh, in this in this course we're going to use mysqli because as i said it's an improved version and also i believe that you know in the next couple of new releases of php the mysql handle is going to be deprecated so you know it's still being supported but uh, i would seriously recommend you guys to you know only use this handle you know even if you have been using the previous handle you know it's it's a very good idea to just you know gradually switch over to this one so anyway you know this function accepts four arguments and i have explicitly mentioned these you know on line number six you can see that i have uh, you know host as the first argument which is the host name and then db user which is the username you know that's going to be the second argument and then dollar pass which is the password you know for connecting to the database you know that's the third argument and then finally it accepts the database name you know the database to which you want to connect so at first i'm going to show you you know uh, something in my sql workbench so you know in my sql workbench under the navigator section in the management uh, you know section i'm going to look for users and privileges and here I see that I have a user called admin and you know I've also set the password for it and the password is student pass and that's the password that we're going to use here. So we know the value for uh, db user now which is admin and the password value is student pass right so the this is how you know I have uh, initialized these two variables so db user gets the value admin and the uh, pass gets the value student pass and you don't actually have to create these variables you know you could simply provide these values as string values to this function and you know just uh, store the result in a variable called connection but you know I think that this is a good idea because you know if ever you change something then it makes sense to change the value in a variable you know and then sort of use it at other places so anyway you know the uh, host to which we're going to connect is localhost right so that's going to be our host name and uh, the database to which we're going to connect is student and that's the database that we have used in this course till now i believe so you know this is how you uh, execute the mysql i underscore connect function this function helps you to connect to the database and uh, you know you provide in the four values and then you store the result of the execution of this function in a variable and i've called that variable dollar c o n n short form for connect the next thing that you have to do is you have to you know check whether the connection was established successfully or not and to do that you know you'll uh, use the if statement and you will type in mysqli underscore connect underscore errno you know which is a short form for error number and then you just type in a set of empty parentheses you know this is another function and uh, you know if at all this uh, you know this connection was not established then you would execute the die function and this function is just going to terminate the execution of the remainder of the script so nothing else is going to happen you know you're just going to like display this message you know that the connection failed and uh, you're also going to display the error number right and uh, if that is not the case if the connection was indeed established successfully you're going to display the message connected to database and then the name of the database which is stored in the variable db name so you're going to you know if in this case this connection works and you will see connected to database student in the output right and uh, then you know you uh, also have some stuff here so you know we have established the connection here but then at the end of the script we would also have to close the connection and the function that we use to close it is my sqli underscore close and you see it right here at the bottom of the script you know after everything you know after all the html on line number 23 i have an opening php tag on 25 i have uh, the corresponding closing php tag and then on line number 24 I have, uh, you know, the statement mysqli underscore close and then in parentheses I've just typed in the name of the connection variable which is $c or double n, 
right so these functions are new and it might take you some time to get used to you know what's the purpose of each and uh, what arguments are passed in each function so for instance the uh, erinum function doesn't take any arguments the close function takes in one argument and the connect function takes in four arguments you know that's something that uh, you should remember you know it's uh, or maybe you can write it down somewhere and you know just uh, use that uh, text a file as uh, you know your reference file or something so anyway i'm going to execute uh, this uh, particular script now so for that i'll open my browser and uh, i'll type in localhost and then uh, the name of the file which is connection.php i believe so we see the message connected to database student now in case i change any of these values you know let's say let uh, i change the db name to something else like instead of student i change it to um office you know i know that there is no database called office uh in you know my uh my sql server at the moment so if i would execute the script now i see you know the message that die function was supposed to show me so connection failed unknown database office so it actually tells you that this database doesn't exist and i also see some uh, you know warnings that php throws to me and if i would uh, change some other value you know then i would see a uh, error corresponding to that particular change or you know whatever went wrong so that's how you connect to a database and only after we've connected to a database uh, in sql we can execute queries and we can pull data out of tables or we can create tables or insert data into tables or you know do any other stuff that you want to do so in the next tutorial and you know in the next few tutorials in fact we're going to check out all of that and uh, it's going to be very interesting from now on trust me on it and i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care and before i leave you let me just change this back to student and uh, i'll save the file and i'll refresh the page to show you guys the message again so connected to database student so that's it Take care and I'll see you soon.